Hi, I'm Carol Bickford. Most people know me as Jeff Gordon's mother, but... <laughs> but what? <laughs> but I really know. <laughs> Let me just look. <laughs> I never say it this day. I'm here with my friend Janice, um, who I've known yes. for 40 some years, and we've done a lots of cooking together over the years. Yes, and um, today we're going to cook my mother's famous um, chicken chow mein. This is a recipe that um, my mother passed down to me many, many years ago. My family absolutely loves it, so we're going to help you to uh, make it at home yourself. All right, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up this wok. We're going to put um, some oil in this um, already hot wok, and it's about a quarter of a cup, maybe a third of a cup. You know, I, I kind of guess at it, but um, it's... Just plain old um, oil, nothing fancy to it, no extra virgin olive oil or anything like that. As soon as that gets warm, Janice is going to help me uh, put the chicken in, which I think the wok is pretty ready. Okay. So we're going to put the chicken in, and we're going to brown the chicken um, until we know that it's done all the way through. It doesn't take very long. One minute? Yep. So we'll just stick that in the pan. It's, it's a lot, uh, one of the things I suggest is not putting it in a really hot uh, oil because it spatters and kind of makes a mess. So if you don't get the oil really too, too hot, spread it out and, and just um, let it cook. Let it brown until it's kind of a golden brown. It's, you're going to be adding a lot more ingredients to it, so it's going to continue cooking uh, in the juices and stuff after you start adding other ingredients. So it's not necessarily uh, important that it cook thoroughly before you start adding the other ingredients. So here we go. And to this, we're going to be adding um, some chopped mushrooms. We're going to be adding, this is a combination of chopped celery and uh, chopped yellow onion. And I think uh, for this I use a, a sweet onion. And I usually, I love onions. If you don't like onions, maybe cut back on them a little bit. Janice here, her husband doesn't eat onions, so she cooks it without. Uh, and I chop, I know the, the, the cookbook says a stock. Um, it's a whole um, thing of celery. Celery. A whole, <laughs> it's, I guess a stock, if a stock is just one, it's the whole thing. It's not just one stock. Um, and then some uh, fresh bean sprouts. And then the last thing we do is pour the chow mein over the noodles. I add a little bit of soy sauce to it as I'm cooking it, and I, I put it in as needed. Everybody has different tastes. Sometimes I use the uh, soy sauce with less sodium, um, and if I do that, I use a little bit more. So it's cooking really good. While I'm uh, getting ready to put some of these other things in, I'm going to have Janice stir this for me. And she does a great job at, at stirring my uh, chicken. Whatever she, she tells me. She, she does whatever I tell her to do. What a great <laughs> friend she is. Uh, Are we ready now? I think we're to ready. I think add, we're ready. Uh, this is what I add next. The, this is the chopped up celery and the onions. Mm. And I don't cook this very long. Um, because again, all of this stuff is going to cook uh, in the sauce. I let it uh, simmer, you know, for 10 or 15 minutes before I actually serve it. So um, we just kind of stir that in there. We're going to add the mushrooms. And I love mushrooms, uh, as you'll see, uh, read in my cookbook. I love mushrooms. So I, I always go a little bit overboard on the mushrooms, but I, I don't think you can do too many. We're going to let the mushrooms uh, cook down just a little bit. And the mushrooms uh, are full of moisture, and they're going to add to the sauce. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce while, I'm, while Janice is stirring that up. And again, I don't, um, I, I don't put too much in because the mushrooms are going to cook down. The celery and everything's going to add a little bit more moisture to it. And this is a recipe that um, makes the house smell so good. Every time I cook this recipe, everybody's like, mmm. So 
it's a it's just a recipe that I think even if you don't like it's it's not your Chinese food like you're used to seeing in a Chinese restaurant. It doesn't taste anything like that. So I think you like it. How are we doing? I think we're doing Is it pretty too good. Hot? I don't think it's too okay. hot. I'm just all right. trying to keep stirring in here to get it all okay. mixed together. And you just let me know when you think we need to add the bean sprouts. You might add a little at a time, just a little I bit. I wish it, um, you could smell this uh, behind the camera because it's really good. <laughs> smell it at home. Mushrooms. We're going to get ready to add the bean sprouts. Okay. Mm. And you, this recipe that we're making right now probably would feed um, a, a family of four or five easily. Whenever you think you're ready, I this think is we're your ready. dish. Here, Janice, I'll stir and you put some noodles in there. Just a few. There you go. That's good. Okay. okay. You hold that and I'll dish it out. Here's this. Turn it off. Yum. This smells good, huh? Yes, it does. Mm. And I know it's going to taste very good. There you go. Oh, perfect. Just like in the old days when you used to cook for me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Thank you. You go ahead. Thank you. And I'm going to mm. have a bite. Just like it was when you cooked it mm. many years ago. I Delicious. love this recipe. It's my mom's recipe. And I hope you folks at home cook it and love it as much as we do. Mm. We did good. That's delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good.